when you read a good script when you read a good story that's been written by a great writer my job is not to interpret the story that the director has written because that's already written my job is not to create characters my job is not to create plots so my job is to probably tell things that are between the lines things that can't be said in words in dialogues things that can't be expressed in visuals but the emotions that can be expressed or felt and so to say things that are going to inspire the audience and guide them towards what my director probably wants to say which is between the lines In this particular film, John's arc has a certain movement. It has a beginning, it has a middle, it has an end. So when you watch it, you'll realize that there is a certain transformation of Arjun Shergill from being in a miserable and vulnerable place to immediately being this out of place, having this power but being lost or whatever. So first part of it was say ik tu hai, which is really romantic, right. and that is me also talking about Aisha. and john and their chemistry and how it's really melodic when we were shooting one extremely important scene the en that entire moment that entire scene from the minute like he takes me up and everything to the dialogues to saying goodbye like it was just all done on music and it was just like it felt so right and so emotional it was exactly the 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 you know the tune that we needed the sure that we needed and then there is the switch where you lose all the melody in, in the film you lose the people singing the melody there uh, there is this intense hip hop dirty nali sound that comes in where these people start rapping he starts hearing or listening to music or the film changes its tone which becomes kind of atonal yet musical and so those are those parts where shreya did bomb those are those parts where you hear all the rap in the Hi. album so i travel to berlin hi uh, where in berlin Berlin with Shah. So Shah likes finding uh, crazy music. He loves doing crazy music, and I think uh, <laughs> this time we are going to have a crazy sound. Can you give me one like? But sound-wise, it should be very aggressive and mean. And then the third part was this was again after Berlin. I was in Copenhagen. that's actually when the lockdown hit us okay yeah. and when that is this idea of the final climax where i want the audience to enjoy have fun with his character i'm here in copenhagen and i'm working on a track with fabian masor it was really exciting for me because it's very different from what i usually do it's been a really funny collaborative process for us to be in a position where she could travel from india to copenhagen here to work with me my name is benjamin flesser and i'm doing sound design on a modular synthesizer modular synthesizers give us immediate access to all parameters we want to touch and in addition to that we are starting with a fresh sound every time we touch it because once we unpatch the synthesizer it will be very difficult or impossible to recreate the same sound so we are not working with presets here I'm Shreya Jain. I'm a producer and a singer, and I worked with Shah uh, on Pro Tools as a Pro Tool operator. Like so that. Pro Tools mm -hmm. is a DAW. It's a digital audio workstation. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you use it for music editing. So Shah makes his cues and uh, tracks, which I internally edit and exactly make it like how he wanted it to be. Wow. Wow. So, so what I would do is that, like, I would make cues. reading the script and you thought i was young she's young <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. look at her doing all this <laughs> wow so, so sham makes tracks uh, on the script and he visualizes it so i edit it internally on pro tools along with the film and make it seamless so like how lakshya sir would want it how shah would want it yeah. and then finally get it approved like show it to lakshya sir and get it approved by him yeah so that's a very important part hi i am nakul chuk i am the music supervisor on attack with siddharth Beside producing the score, I worked with the sound designer and the pre-recording engineer of the film to integrate the music of the film with the philosophy of the sound of the film better. You know, when you say about the script, you've actually read the script but not visualized it. You've heard it. 
you know yeah. because i remember that he we came to him with one song ki aisa ek gana hai and make that and he said give me the script and there were positions where there aren't even music not supposed to be there but as a storyteller he put it which is why it's elevated Correct. today but i think you that's know? so amazing when you can take the narrative of the film forward through music because it's not just dialogues or the scenes yeah. that we shoot because you hear before you watch exactly. uh, you know yeah. as as humans and when we're consuming something the sound affects us uh, or our emotions before the visuals do so i think commendable yeah. For me, the music of Attack is modern age music. Is a music that people are going to, you know, groove it's on. It's music of Absolutely. the future. Of the future. I think the, it's film of the future. Absolutely. It's music of the future. Absolutely. And I have to tell you, the way the soundtrack, like you know, for example, La La La. How many people have messaged oh, me and said, like "How amazing is it? Every track's yeah. great, but La 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 so unheard." Basic idea of hmm. the thing was. metamorphosis right like he yeah. is this one person and changes into something yes. completely different yeah. so uh, we what we thought was that maybe we can take an existing melody so uh, the, one of the oldest uh, western classical melodies is toccata by uh, john sebastian bach i learned it when i was really young by my piano teacher so that is a melody that everybody has subconsciously heard mm -hmm. it's a melody that everybody knows inherently mm -hmm. and so how does oh, it go i mean na 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 something which is a little more gnarly a little more electronic and by the end you hear like really hard hip hop synthesizers playing that melody or distortion guitars playing the same melody yeah. and then when we did that it became kind of like a this western classical score going from one place to another so that's where you know a director comes in he a lakshy came in and he said sha but you know as a theme i want something which people will remember our film for so this is one melody that's changing yeah. how do we how do we as a theme integrate it so we wrote la 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 which sits underneath the whole wow. bar to kata and goes on through the film but as so, a producer my my distributor has spoke to me and he's saying sir ye la 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 gana pehle kyun nahi laya i said but we got it out in the order we were meant to uh -huh. get he's saying the sare exhibitors mujhe phone kare ye gana pehle lana tha <laughs> so wow. we don't even know what resonates yeah. la 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 has got Fire. And also the the idea that I don't want lyrics in the verse were lost. Yeah. He said, "Shah, give me something yeah. which is phonetics. I do mm, not yeah. want words. Universal. I do not want something verbose. Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah. Wow! Yeah. Sound of attack. That is going to have a hard attack. Hi, this is Shashwat Sachdev. You can call me Shah.